सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक सेंसर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक सेंसर वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फॉर इज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो फॉर इज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो दिस इज द बेसिक लॉ विच इज यूज फॉर द वर्किंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक सेंसर सो वॉट इज फॉर इज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो इट इज स्टेट स्टैट सपोज This is some <coughs> conductor. This is the length of the conductor, and here we have let us use some magnet is there. So now these magnets. are placed just perpendicular to each other so the electromagnetic field will be experienced in this region so now if a conductor of length l and Which is moving with a velocity v. So let us assume this is moving with a velocity v. So this conductor, if it is placed in a magnetic field of flux density v, right? Then a voltage will be induced in this conductor. So here in this conductor, if we measure in this conductor. For this is some electrode. If we measure some voltage here, then our voltage E, this is induced voltage. Our voltage E will be induced in this conductor. So this induced voltage is given by E is equal to V. L V. So here V is flux density given by Bauer per meter square. L is length of conductor. V is Velocity of conductor. So, if a conductor of this length is moving with a velocity v in a magnetic flux density v, then a voltage is induced across the conductor, and that induced voltage is given by E is equal to v l v. Now, on the basis of this, electromagnetic sensors work. Now, application of uh, application of electromagnetic sensor. So one application. Which is commonly uh, in in that application commonly we use electromagnetic sensor is electromagnetic flow meter. This electromagnetic flow meter. So this electromagnetic flow meter 
it is used to measure the flow rate of a liquid which is flowing inside a pipe and to measure this flow rate the electromagnetic sensor is used now how this electromagnetic flow meter work so you will you will see this so let us zoom this is one pipe this is one pipe and this pipe is having d as a diameter so d is diameter of pipe <clears throat> now here we have connected two coils right so these are coil now through these this coil we apply some uh, voltage and through this coil also we apply some voltage due to that voltage some current will flow through this coil and the current flowing through this coil will produce the electromagnetic field so these are the this is the electromagnetic field so this is in a pro magnetic field <coughs> now let us zoom this now inside this pipe uh, some liquid is flowing and we have to measure the flow rate of that liquid so some liquid is there and liquid is flowing let us zoom in this direction this is the direction of the flow of the liquid and it is moving with a velocity v the one thing is important this electromagnetic flow meter can be used to measure the flow rate only for those liquids which are conductive in nature if the liquid is not conductive in nature then we cannot use electromagnetic flow meter to uh, measure its flow rate so now here this is the velocity v d is the diameter of this pipe so we can say now the distance between these two coil or this pipe is d so v is velocity of liquid right and v is flux density so now from the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know that some voltage will be induced so let us assume this is one electrode and here we are having electrode so this is electrode we have connected these electrodes and from here if we measure then we will get some induced voltage so induced voltage e is induced voltage and this e as per faraday's law of electromagnetic induction is given by b d v v name it equation number 1 now the flow rate uh flow rate is represented by q and its unit is meter cube per second and the flow rate is given by q is given by 
एरिया ऑफ पाइप मल्टीप्लाई बाय वेलोसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड सो फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन क्यू इज कल टू एरिया ऑफ द पाइप एरिया ऑफ दिस पाइप सो सो दिस पाइप एरिया विल बी पाई आर स्क्वायर वे आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ दिस पाइप सो वी कैन राइट इट एज ए पाई आर स्क्वायर आर इज रेडियस सो रेडियस इज बी बाई टू सो पाई आर स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वेलोसिटी Now we will write this expression in terms of velocity. So we will get v is equal to so here four q by pi d square. We will get v is equal to four q by pi d square, and we call it as expression number two. Now. <coughs> Now we replace the value of v from equation two in equation one. Then we will get e is equal to v d and for v velocity we will write this expression four q by pi d square. Right. So this is. Induced voltage is given by this. So d and d square here it will cancel out. So e is equal to four b q divided by pi d. And here in this expression we find that this portion, this much term, four b b is the flux density and once Uh, we set the voltage in these coils, so flux density will remain constant. Pi, this is constant term. D is the diameter of this pipe; it is also constant once we have selected on pi. So this term is constant. So E is proportional to Q. So induced voltage is proportional to. Flow rate of the liquid. So, if the flow rate of the liquid is more, the induced voltage will be more. If the flow rate is less, induced voltage will be less, and the variation in the induced voltage will be proportional to the flow rate. So, in this way, by just uh, measuring this induced voltage, we We can tell how much may be the flow rate. So here we have to develop some circuit. We have to calibrate it, and in this way we can use this whole concept for the measurement of flow meter. Now this type of flow meter, yes, but one thing is important. This electromagnetic flow meter can be used only for the measurement of uh, the flow of Conductive liquids. If the liquid is not conductive, then this electromagnetic flow meter can't be used in that particular scenario. <coughs> Now, what are the advantages of this electromagnetic flow meter? There is in this particular type of flow meter, there is no moving part. So if there is no moving part, so there will be no wear and tear in the device. So no wear tear in device. Now, second advantage, it can measure the flow rate 
in both the directions. We suppose if this is a pipe, right? So if liquid is flowing from left to right side, or liquid is flowing from right to left side, in both cases, we can measure very accurately the flow rate with the help of uh, this uh, electromagnetic flow meter. So it measures. flow rate in y direction. Right? Whatever it may be the direction of flow of the liquid, it will measure the flow rate. Now, <laughs> the flow rate will not depend upon the viscosity of the liquid. So, these are the, so, not depend on viscosity of the liquid. So these are a few advantages and obviously there may be some disadvantage also. So first disadvantage, this is a costly device, cost of this device, this sensor will be uh, higher and second disadvantage it can be used to measure only the uh, flow rate of conductive liquid only. So this is about the electromagnetic sensor and especially the uh, flow rate uh, measurement sensor.